G'day mobile gaming fans, it's Michael Raw from Raw Raps here, yet again with another indie game from A Australia. Not Australia, but A um, exclamation mark Australia. Anyway, you'll see that in the spelling in the description. Remember, a quick game's a good game, so get it into nature and limit your screen time. And don't forget to check out my Game Accord t-shirts on Teespring and join the Game Accord. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the uh, bell notification for new videos. Today, we're up Ship Creek without a paddle, and I tell you, um, it is a Ship Creek, this game. Uh, look, I love uh, the indie developers, especially the Aussie in, uh, indie uh, developers, but unfortunately this game falls a little bit short. Uh, it's obviously a, a new game by a new developer, but uh, it's a lot of fun and uh, I thought I'd have to do this a review because they did ask me and um, I love to do these reviews. So, Ship Creek, basically, and I'm out already, a runner game. And you've got the triple lane runner game. Now, it's actually not very forgiving with the enemy assets. So, if you, for instance, go... Like this. Oh, I'm going to do it. Oh. Oh, no, that wasn't a good example. But anyway, there was a few times where I actually went um, near the enemy and I got out and I probably feel like I got a bit ripped off. Anyway, <clears throat> what I do love about this game is that the ads there. Look, see that? Did you see that? I think I got ripped off there. Ads are minimal and they're not forced upon you. You've got the... Um, they're not interstitial, but they're sort of banner ads at the bottom. And also, you can actually watch ads to uh, progress further in the game so that's actually not a bad option I like that for monetization so this one's had about 50 downloads came out in October 2018 15th of October I believe it was and it's an arcade one um, the only other game this developer has done is Headable so I'll be reviewing that next um, I love indie uh, developers and obviously Aussie ones of course because I'm from Australia um, but I think this one needs a bit of work. Obviously, I think this probably was just a game they brought out um, to test their skills as developers. Um, so, the in-game monetization or the in-app currency is... Not monetization, the currency is coins and you can use that to unlock um, more boats but there's only actually one more boat that you can unlock at the moment and that is the if anyone's seen castaway with tom hanks uh it's the wilson ball the volleyball i think it was wasn't it, it was a volleyball wasn't it pretty sure great movie that by the way i did actually <laughs> did really like that movie um if we go back we're not going to watch a video but we'll go back to main menu <clears throat> So we'll go to store and really, so that's the boat, your old boat. Okay, it's a bit old, but not that great, but it's wood and floats and gets you from point A to point B. But this is the Wilson ball, a raft made for some logs tied together and makeshift sail. It's shorter, makes it easier to avoid obstacles, but faster as well. Volleyball included. But that takes a thousand coins. So it's gonna take a while to get to a thousand because I'm only, whoop, there's an ad there. Hey, what happened to my coins? I had more coins than, oh no, that's just for this game. <coughs> there must be a cumulative total. So what I will say is that this game... I thought I had more... Where's my coins? Okay, there's something. There's something. So, actually, I I've i been playing this game a little bit, and I've earned more, more coins than that, but now they've disappeared, and I didn't buy anything. So, there's some sort of glitch in that uh, developer, uh, Australia. Hey, 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 Australia, hey, 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 Australia, the developer, um, can you please fix that up? Because it does tend to reset, and actually, when, if you close out of this game, the totally reset, so, yeah, just check that out. Um, what I will say is, that the graphics actually aren't too bad, the water is done quite well, I think that's quite a decent effort, um, the side platforms, see, look, I got out then, I got ripped off. Okay, so... I don't know what um, program they're using for this, whether it's uh, BuildBox or uh, oh, Unity. But the enemy or the boat 
the actual character um, needs to the the actual oh how can I put it the programming on the character needs to change so it's actually smaller and fits it must be bigger than the boat the actual area that you can get out on which you can't see obviously it's in the programming um, the platform look it's a it's a uh, what's it called? Oh look, again, I'm out there. It's a runner game that has no, it's basically, there's no levels, so it's just continuous, unlimited. Look, I got out again. So they need to fix that. <coughs> so look, Fun Factor is only about, what do I give it, about a five. The graphics are about a four, and the game hook's three, so it's obviously been done pretty Pretty much uh, to death. This 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 type of game hook. Um, I think it does need also some work. See how the boat just shifts left to right. Um, there needs to be an animation there. So an animation for movement. Also an animation for death. Death anim anima death animations and sounds are good. There are sounds um, and music's okay, but the enemy assets could change up a bit. Um, yeah, there needs to be more in this game. I think it's super basic and probably not one that's going to hook you in all that much. Um, shows you the stats. Shows you the stats and leaderboards. I've already signed in once, so I think there's a bit of a glitch there too. Let's have a look. No. I've already signed in once, so there's, there's a few glitches in the back end of this game. So you have to sign in again multiple, multiple times. Um, yeah, so not that great. The store then obviously needs to be more. Version 1.1 and probably they could add a heap more into this game. So uh, animations need to improve. I think the in-app uh, currency it takes too much to purchase the boats. There needs to be more boats. There needs to be more in this game. It's very basic. but. All in all, a good effort for a first game. I think um, they've got some of the game mechanics right. Um, but really, today in today's market, you can't just publish a game like this and expect it to get millions of downloads. Um, you know, it's just not going to happen. It did probably happen uh, back in the day, about probably seven or eight years ago, when you could just do a basic game and it would get a million downloads. Uh, but not today. You need, really need to have a, a polished game with some sort of you know, unique game hook. So anyway... Um, I like, the, the, probably the best thing about this is the developer's uh, logo, I think that's pretty cool, and the actual, um, the name of their company, which is good. I can't wait to see more games that they develop, I think, I hope this feedback helps them. Um, I'm just being honest, I'm not trying to be too critical, it's just, just totally honest. Um, definitely needs some improvement, but there are some pos positives to this game. Um, and yeah, so keep trying, I'm going to try a ball, hopefully that's uh, a little bit more polish. But um, today, Ship Creek is up Ship Creek for me. Um, yeah, so sorry, Australia, but uh, let's try harder next time, okay? Remember, kids, a quick game's... Well, kids, I hope you're not uh, listening to this one too much. But anyway, a quick game's a good game. So get out into nature and limit your screen time. Don't forget to check out my Game Accord t-shirts on Teespring. And until next time, let's do Header Ball next. Actually, I'm going to do Shadow Gun Legends. Uh, it's not an indie game. It's a big, big publisher game. Probably a lot of money spent on it, but it it is uh, something pretty special, that game. It's hooked me right in, so I'm going to do that uh, probably next up. Until next time, it's Michael Raw from Raw Apps signing out.